do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos so students in the last lecture we have studied that what is abnormal osmotic pressure which was related to association and which was related to dissociation also it has not only effect on osmotic pressure but it has also effect on the colligative property all the colligative properties so let us see that what are this abnormalities but before that we should know what is band of factor because it is related to the abnormality that we have already studied so friends since we know that the abnormality that is arised because of association and dissociation plays a very pivotal role in the calculation or in the determination of the colligative properties so what is band of factor and how it is related to each and every colligative property let us see one by one in very deep so band of factor which is denoted by small i is defined as the ratio of the observed colligative property produced by a given concentration of electrolyte solution to the property observed for the same concentration for non electrolyte in this case two substances are given that is electrolyte and non electrolyte electrolyte usually undergoes association or dissociation when dissolved in liquid like aqueous solution while non electrolyte has no effect of association or dissociation and hence by calculating this difference we could determine that what is the band of factor or what are the difference that we could see in a normal observed calculation and a theoretical reaction so let us see suppose i is equals to observed colligative property of the electrolyte divided by the observed colligative property of non electrolyte so moving further to know or to have an idea of what is band of factor let us study further since you know electrolyte doesn't undergo association or dissociation so therefore the previous formula which was i is equals to observed value of electrolyte divided by the observed value of the non electrolyte in that case the observed colligative property of the non electrolyte will be said to be theoretical colligative property because non electrolytes doesn't undergo association or dissociation so the value of that would be the fix and depending on that value we could calculate the value of i or we could calculate that how much the molecule of that electrolyte would have been dissociated or associated so therefore i is equals to observed colligative property divided by the theoretical colligative property this is the formula that we have got right now but since we also know that the colligative property is directly proportional to the number of particles if the number of particle will increase then the colligative particle uh, that is the colligative property will also increase now so the i will be or the band of factor will be i is equals to n observed value divided by the n theoretical value this n is nothing but the number of moles or the number of particles as you can see the theoretical value will have a fixed value while the observed value could be more or could be less depending on the association or the dissociation and also we know that the colligative property is inversely proportional to the molar mass in every in four of the colligative property that is starting from the relative lowering of vapor pressure till elevation boiling point depression freezing point and osmotic pressure we have always observed that the molar mass is inversely proportional to that colligative property so every colligative property is inversely proportional to the molar mass if the molar mass is more then the colligative property of that thing would be less so depending on that the i which should be observed divided by the theoretical will now in terms of molar mass just for molar mass will be reversed because they are inversely proportional so therefore i is equals to m theoretical where in this case the m stands for molar mass of that substance 
divided by the m observed so by this thing we have got a rough idea that is what is vent of factor and how can we calculate the vent of factor depending on the four quality properties that are present on your screen so the for relative lowering of vapor pressure i is equals to delta p observed value divided by the delta p of theoretical value for elevation boiling point i is equals to delta tb observed value divided by the delta tb of theoretical value is equals to i is equals to delta tf that is for depression of freezing point divided by delta tf of theoretical value and ultimately for osmotic pressure i is equals to osmotic pressure of observed value divided by the osmotic pressure of theoretical value so in this case we have determined that how the vent of factor changes depending on the solute and depending on the solute that undergoes association or dissociation so this is the main concept that we are learning now and further also we are going to study more detail about this i hope you have liked this video so please don't forget to share this with your friends very valuable video for you and your friends and please do subscribe igra channel.com thank you so much